think Meruora is a, such a magical and spiritual place that it's one of the very few rare places on earth that you get to experience. Look at that view. It's something straight out of fairy tale. Perfect. I am inside the Balam Monastery. This place, it's so beautiful. Here's my dish. This is super delicious. I love this dish so much. Yeah, baby. I signed up for a day tour from Athens. It took about four hours to get here to Kalabaka from the Athens railway station. And the tour takes about five hours. So you have two options. You can either just go back on the same day. I think that's a little bit too tiring for me. So I decided to stay here for the night. Here's an overall map of Meteora. This is the town of Kalabaka. That's where you get off the train station and you will take a bus along this road and you will visit this monastery. First, we are going to visit Valen Monastery. It was founded in 1350. It sits 373 meters above the valley floor. It is the second largest monastery that is open to the public. Oh, the view is spectacular. Perfect. I am inside the Valen Monastery. This place, it's so beautiful. I love how everything's well kept and the building's architecture in this monastery is built on one of the rock pillars. Wow. Just look at the view behind me. This is stunning. Here's the interior of the Vellum Monastery. These chairs are intricately carved. Wow. This one here is super extravagant. I like how everything is painted in gold and decorated with jewels. I just went inside the monastery, and oh, wow, it's stunning. I love how the wall they painted with saints, and there's even a painting of a Jesus, all the created within the monastery. It's just so magical inside and spiritual. There's a fruit tree right next to the monastery. I wonder what this is. So apparently, for the guys, you don't have to wear long pants here, but for ladies, you have to wear a cover-up, like a long skirt. Trousers doesn't work, it has, it has to be a cover-up. Wow, everywhere in the Meteora area, every single stop is just breathtaking. The view, uh, how the rock pillars just stood out like that. I've just arrived at the second monastery. It's called the Covenant of Santa Barbara. The dress code here is a, is a little bit more strict for men. If you wear shorts, it has to be over the knees. And for ladies, it has to be a long dress. Even a trouser, a long trouser, jeans, pants, does not work. You have to wear a long dress for ladies. Also, to get to Santa Barbara Monastery, you have to go down a number of steps downhill. Just like the other monastery, the view here, it's stunning. I love the formation, the rocks. They have some very beautiful plants and flowers here. I don't know what these are, but they look very pretty to look at. The monastery, Santa Barbara, is a lot smaller than the first monastery that I went to. This one only took me about less than 10 minutes to explore the whole monastery. And this monastery, they're much more strict with photography and video. So they have this person watching you, make sure you don't take any photos or video. Well, at least the view behind me, it's amazing though. So I guess you just come here to look at the view and explore a little bit of this monastery. Each of the monastery, the the entry ticket is three euros. I think it's very cheap. I think it's just a small donation to keep the monastery going. 
Once again, the monastery of St. Stephen had strict rules on no videos and photography, so I wasn't able to capture most of it on camera. But from what I've remembered, the interior design was very similar with all other monasteries that I've visited. Like you have the interior wall lavishly decorated and painted with saints. I think Midora is such a magical and spiritual place that it's one of the very few rare places on earth that you get to experience. Look at that view. It's something straight out of fairy tale. So this is absolutely worth coming if you're visiting Greece. And definitely, if you have more than a few days, take the day trip here to Medora. And if possible, stay the night here and return back to Athens the next morning. I enjoyed every moment of this tour and I would totally come back and do this again. I have arrived at Calabaca. The next restaurant I'm going to check out is the one right behind me. It's called Meteoron Panorama. I've read really good reviews about it, so I'm super excited to try it out. So let's go check it out. Here's my dish. I ordered a eel risotto. It's from their dish of the day. I love the presentation. I love the color. Let's try the eel risotto. Looks good. Let's try the risotto first. I love the taste of risotto. It's rich and creamy. And the risotto is al dente. It has a slight chewy taste. It's cooked to perfection. Okay, let's try the eel. This eel is so flavorful and tender. I love eel. The eel complements the risotto in a very good way. This is super delicious. I love this dish so much. Just look at that view. That's spectacular. And it's full of people and restaurants. This place is very beautiful. Yeah, this is the view I'm talking about, Ubeda. The wind here is crazy. It looks so good. Okay, so let's dig in. Right now it's about 11 o'clock in the morning and there's barely anyone on the streets. Oh, and the view. It does look like a heart. I'm just gonna stay here and watch this beautiful ES sunset in Santonini. Okay. 